Dish Hab Studio in Hollywood. The Last Night Show with Seppi Vadoni, DJ Exisa, Ray Courtley, and your host, Kayvon Moazzi. Happening, Dishab. Who's ready to have a good time on the show tonight? Who's ready? Yes. Yeah, we are. Me too. Me too. You know, it is so exciting to do this show, the best late night show on this side of the internet. I'm your host, Kayvon, the most famous half Persian comedian from Reno, Nevada, who's ever lived. Ooh. That's put that on the resume. That's right. <laughs> and of course, it wouldn't be a show without my lovely co-host. We have Steffi in the Exisa. <laughs> A different thing going on on the face. I love that. And then Ray, the lovely lady. From so today is going to be an amazing episode because we're going to do a few things. We have a violinist coming in. We have a comedian that's going to be here. And we're going to play Truth or Myth. Never even heard of that. Never heard of that. They were working hard on coming up with these ideas. They were working so hard on this show, they forgot to pick me up and bring me to the studio. Today. Again, this is like the 10th day in a row. I had to ride a moped from Montecito. This is the hotel. You know, they got the very good rate on the hotel out there. So, but I made it. I made it. You know, I, when you ride a moped, it's not the manliest thing, but I made it. That was cool. So. Speaking of manly things, we're going to talk a lot about social media and texting today. Now, when you want to reach out to someone, what's your go-to? Are you an email, a texter? What, what's your thing, Seppi? It, it can depend. It depends on so many circumstances who you approach and, you know. Yeah. Well, so. we're going to talk about that yes, on the show. Will. What's your favorite thing? Texta, 100%. Men and women also have a lot of differences when it comes to communication. Uh, I've found that sometimes I'll send a text to a girl, hey, what are you doing? And then I will get three books. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yep, I have yep, to yep. go to chapter two and three. You know, I wish my iPhone was longer because it... <laughs> it, it isn't that always the case? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, then, and then we text differently in general. If it's late at night, let's say two in the morning, and a girl texts me, what are you doing? Most men respond, where are you at? <laughs> you know, like, it doesn't even make sense. What are you doing? Where are you? You know, yeah. we just want to know, how can we help you? <laughs> Sleep better, right? We're like customer service. We're ready to go. Yeah. But I found if you text a girl at two in the morning, what are you up to? You get a lecture back. <laughs> Who do you think I am? <laughs> what kind of a woman do you think I How dare you? And then you have to apologize the next day. Probably better with a phone call the next day to say, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> That's yeah, a good one. I was in Hawaii. It was only 8 p.m. over there. I don't know. You'll make something up. So we're going to discover all of that together. We're going to see what to do, what not to do, and we're going to laugh and have a lot of fun. How does that sound? Yeah. Yeah. Woo, sounds good. It's all going down. Let's start the show. Thank you, DJ. You know, Hawaii is a state that's three hours behind, but Hawaii is also a Chinese word that means outside. So we're going to go outside of the studio and see what real people on the streets have to say about real topics. Let's go. What is the capital of Mexico? <laughs> Tijuana. I don't know. <laughs> Tijuana? <laughs> what is the capital? <laughs> He's Mexican. Is that wrong? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's wrong. wrong. <laughs> that's your capital. So <laughs> no, it's okay. Mexico City. Mexico City. Mexico City. Yes! Uh, bang I don't know! <laughs> <it up. laughs> Albuquerque? <laughs> Ottawa. <laughs> I've been there. Starts with that. I've been there. Starts with that letter. Ottawa? Yeah! Killing it! I was gonna say, because I, I have a picture in front of the Capitol building, so I'm on. You represent. You represent for Americans. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Capital of France. Paris. Uh, Italy. I don't fing know, dude. You got this. Paris. Paris. Is it Paris? I have no idea. Paris? Uh, you got it. Capital of England. London. Oh, you know. Cholio. Britain. Britain. Capital of Britain is? 
Oh, England. <laughs> Capital of China. Shanghai? No. Vietnam? I don't know. Beijing. Okay. Beijing. Singapore? Iraq? <laughs> <laughs> These <laughs> 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 If I were to grab your phones, what would be the last few emojis you use? Because they end up in the little, you know, little time period. <laughs> yeah, it thing. saves it for it you. It saves you. Which like ones you've been using ones. recently? The most recent one, yeah. Yeah, what's on your phone right now if we were to grab it? And don't lie. <laughs> I think since I like the big smile teeth one, like, because I'm like big always smile. smiling and yeah. and that's my reaction to pretty much everything, you know, when we're talking to my friends so the or big whatever. Smile. Show so the I'm camera. always like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the big smile. All right, what's, smile. what's on your phone? Um, I do this one a lot. You know, Face you're like, palm. <laughs> Is it because you're doing something stupid or the guy who's talking to it's you? It's a says, mixture of both, I think. Yeah. Just everyone gets a I'm face like, palm. What am I doing? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Good to know. You? There's fire. Well, mine. Mine's interesting because I, first of all, you got to drink water. I love water. So I'm always sending the water emoji, reminding people to stay <laughs> hydrated. That's okay. So and there's a dish you. called Baba Ganoush or Ooh, Badam June. It's yes. a delicious eggplant dish. So I'm always set asking people, would they like to try? Is it your favorite Where, where are you going yeah. with it? And then I love peach cobbler. So it's the peach, it's the eggplant, it's the water. I, it's, <laughs> what do you think about wow. that, DJ? Fire. Speaking of emojis, we now can tell whole stories with emojis if you can crack the code. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a little game together. Mm -hmm. We're going to watch something, and we're going to see who can figure out what this emoji story is telling oh, us. Who's ready to nice. play? Ready? Can you play along? Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Seppi, you can go first. We're going to play this, and you tell us what it says. Mm -hmm. I see five monkeys sitting down in like a pooping position, <laughs> they're, but they're kind of going up and down, and then they want to go to bed after. So um, They pooped so much. They have to yeah. yeah. That is completely wrong. <laughs> a poopy monkey, I guess. <laughs> no. That is, that is how monkeys sit when they're chilling. The answer was five little monkeys jumping on a bed. Oh, oh One fell off and okay. hit his... Head, head, head. head. I got it, yes. You're trying too hard. All right, here we go, Ray. <laughs> Please translate this. Clouds. What is this? Uh, ballet. <laughs> Pirouette. Clouds. <laughs> Help me out, guys. Help me out. Ah, uh, okay. I uh, think I think um, that went ballet. way over my head. Oh, that could be clouds one. Clouds over my head. Or, clouds. oh, I've got my head in the clouds. I just, yes. I might cave That's on. what I think, too. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Yeah, head let's in the see cloud. if I'll tell yeah. I got my head yeah. in the cloud. That, it looks like... Woo! The mine is the cave. That was my second <laughs> guess. Hey, good. Ooh, this one's difficult. If this is you, this is your turn. Oh. It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> if I don't have my lipstick, don't take a picture of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good yeah. one, good one. That was actually what, good. What's what your... is the answer? No makeup self. Oh my god! Oh. I was gonna, I was gonna say that. I really, really? was gonna say that. Oh. Yes, I'm yes. terrible because it was like that's what the, the ladies do. This is my no makeup selfie, all natural. Good. Stop toilet. toilet oh, paper. do not throw the toilet paper in the yes, toilet. Yes, do not because we have weak plumbing <laughs> here. And last time you clogged. We're in the nineties. Yeah. yeah, I do it all the time though. <laughs> don't put the toilet. Yeah, don't, yeah, maybe it's don't put the toilet. Paper. Don't. Don't stop. stop. Oh. We are out of toilet paper. Who texts that? That's an emergency. <laughs> no, that's something you pick up the phone and go, we are out of toilet paper. That's a code. Don't that's be sending code, me yeah. a code. All right. So okay, thank God we're done. Okay. That was the last one. We got it. Make up your own, put it in the comments, and we'll read them, and then we'll translate them. And when we come back, we're going to have a whole lot more fun. We have a comedian coming. Don't miss it. Oh. We'll be back. That's who I want to Welcome back to Dishab, and our guest tonight is going to be a favorite because I'm reuniting with an old friend, a comedian who's toured the world. She's going viral on TikTok. We have her here in the studio tonight. It's Melissa Shoshahi. You can dance a little. Oh, okay. You have to sit down right away. Hey. Okay, I'm not a good person. I'm not a good dancer, but this All is natural? it. It's all natural. All natural. Melissa's here. Melissa's here. Woo! Woo! Oh, 
Wow. This is all I know how to do. That worked for me. Okay, I like good. That. Okay, good. It does not attract the men. Just oh, <laughs> who cares? They'll, they'll come no matter what. Okay. Be Melissa. Let so, me find my. Hold on. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is really bouncy. Oh my gosh. The ratings are going up. Keep going. Yeah. Okay, no, that's okay. I'm not wearing the right bra for that. Oh geez. Um, <laughs> this is a small taste of what Melissa's show is like. You and I have gone on tour for years, and we took yeah. a break apart. It's not you. It wasn't me. It was... COVID-19. It was. I know. So what have you been doing for the last year <sighs> since the show's kind of fell through? Um, I've just been on hold with unemployment. Unemployment? <laughs> oh, thank because you, California. This California. is what happens when you're a comedian. <laughs> Comedians, our jobs are yeah. cyclical. So yeah. do you think your parents were right? You should have been doctor? <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> I just, but can I just say, I feel like I'm about to do a TED Talk with these mics. Yes, yes. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm a life coach now. I'm going to make your dreams oh. turn into a reality. Oh, okay. great. Three easy steps. <laughs> yeah, three easy Teach steps. me something about your name because, I don't know, we've worked together for so long. My name's weird, Kayvon. So I just wrote K dash V O N. That's not how it's really spelled. Right. I did that so people would actually say it right your name is so easy melissa yeah but your last name show shahi how come nobody can get that right because they don't know how to read i don't know <laughs> they, they, she'll spell it out she'll write it and what have you got on um stage? okay so i've gotten shoshashi shoshashi oh. shosh and in Just, persian what does shush mean i was learning that shush to pee, which I get because I pee a lot. So they were just like, okay, that makes She's sense. She's so shushy. I'm so, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, what else? I also get Shashaki. I'm like, where did you get the K? They just threw a K in there. Uh, and then always I- like Shakira, Shoshaki. I mean, yeah. Or maybe your comedy is so shocking. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine Mel shocking on- <laughs> Welcome her on stage. And then I get all the time Shoshani. And then I've just given up. Like, I'm just like, maybe I should just change it Make to it Shoshani. Shoshani. Or I should just be like, Mel. Just call me Mel. Just like Cher. The Mel Show. The Mel Show. <laughs> nice. So we've done so many shows on the road. And yeah. I was going to ask you, every comedian has a story. What was your worst comedy memory you can come up with? Oh, man. There's so many. I mean. <laughs> There's. So, I got one is when I was I was doing a show and I was supposed to get paid and the booker's like, yeah, go on, go on now. We got to go now. And I went on stage and when I got off, I go, where is, you know, Mahmoud or whatever his name was. They're like, <laughs> oh, you didn't hear his his grandmother got sick. He had to go be with her. I'm like, on the 30 minutes I was on stage and he owed me the money and he's like, it's my grandmother. I'm not going to watch your show. I had to go. And he didn't like respond to me for like a week. He's like, you're being rude to me. It's with my grandmother. I'm like, where's my money? I came to Texas. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well, you were very rude to ask him. Yes. Okay. I should have just accepted the grandmother. <laughs> Poor <and that>. Mahmoud. <laughs> yeah. um, it's always a Mahmoud. It's always a Mahmoud <laughs> or a Majid. Um, yeah. I, I think the worst one I got, I got hired to do like some gala or some event or bar mitzvah. I can't keep track, but um, they're like, please do like half an hour of stand up an hour. Um, I get there and uh, none of them spoke English. Oh. So uh, there I did. I was like, but uh, what do you want me to say? They're like, you know, just uh, talk about uh, my uh, uncle. Like, I was just like, what do you want? So sometimes they just expect you to speak uh, oh, yeah. Persian, mm -hmm. uh, which I can't. I, I can speak fluently, but I can't tell any jokes. Like they right. just won't. It doesn't translate. It doesn't translate. So I didn't know what to do. And another time um, the mic went out and the oh. stage wasn't probably working. I had to sit on the floor. Oh, wow. There's so many weird situations I was in and mm. I'm still doing comedy, which means that we really love what we do. We must do. love what yeah. we do. Yes. So uh, what's, what's your preference to do a private event or a comedy club, or you don't care at this point? At this point, I don't care. <laughs> like, I will do a five-year-old's birthday party. Um, <laughs> like, let's do this. Write us. Let's uh, go. I'm going to wear, like, a, you know, clown outfit. Um, <laughs> no, I love comedy clubs. And, you know, we've performed at so many comedy clubs. We've done so comedy clubs, but one, about two years ago, we decided to take our show on a world tour. And I think that's probably some of my most memorable shows of my life. Uh, I think we we had fun in London, uh, Norway, Denmark, and then we went to um, I think Amsterdam was the best city we went to. No, no, Iceland. 
What? Iceland. What about Amsterdam? Amsterdam. Okay. <laughs> Amsterdam was great. It was if, sold out. If you like the audience, they were all high. <laughs> Nobody was laughing. That's true. Everybody <laughs> was super yeah. high. Because if you know, Amsterdam. No, after the show, that. no one was telling us how funny they, we were. They were like, where can we go get some food together? So oh they had God. the munchies. That's yeah, like, they yeah. totally had the munchies. I forgot about Iceland. Iceland was so amazing. Yeah. And it was such a great crowd there. And I mean, they were probably so cold. They were just like, we need to come inside. <laughs> we we, come need, <laughs> we need laughter to keep us warm. And Iceland uh, is amazing because we went to the Blue Lagoon, which is one yeah. of the world's most beautiful destinations. I think we have a photo we're going to put up. Uh, ladies, if you want your Instagram to start popping get you over to the Blue Lagoon in Iceland and you can look like Melissa out there. In yeah, the, guys. The hot springs, but the cold, like <laughs> snow all around. And it was just like... It's so epic. Like if you... Yeah, it's yeah. totally Instagram uh, worthy pictures yeah. if you want to go to the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> and and you, uh, you have other pictures, but you can't share them because this is a family show. Yeah, I have so. a lot of nudes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Only fans page, you guys. How else am I going to make money during a pandemic? All right. So what, uh, what percentage of comedians do you think think are male and female i've always thought like it's about 75 percent male comedians i think you're right and 25 percent female so it yeah. shouldn't be weird but it is uh, are people always like oh we have a female comedian come come in watch the show yeah like it's some sort of a circus act <laughs> <laughs> well i mean it's it's continually getting more and more yeah um but right now i mean especially for like diverse women or you know, uh, Middle Eastern women doing mm -hmm. comedy, it's very low percentage. Right. Um, like when I was touring with you, like you had a lot of lovely uh, lady fans. Oh, this guy. <laughs> lady fans. And they're like, female Persian comedian? Yeah, they were sure. They're probably married, <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah. That's, that's Avon's girlfriend. I hate her. Yeah, people thought we were secretly married and this was our cover story. She's just a comedian on the side yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm trying to find a husband here. I'm yes. not going to date a comedian. <laughs> well, you, you, yeah, she has taste. Excuse me. Yeah, so you, uh, you, you, you would bring people on stage and, well, she would ask, where's the single men in the audience? And there'd always be yeah. like three. Yeah. Slim pickings. Yeah, yeah. Because comedy is like a date night thing or you bring your husband or wife. And, and you would do a hilarious like application yeah. to see if they met your requirements. Can you give us some of the top requirements? And we'll ask our ladies if they agree with these requirements. But what was on your boyfriend application? Okay, first of all, we should always have an application when we're going to go potentially date a man, right? Mm -hmm. We don't ask the right questions. We yeah. really don't. We're like, oh, he's cute. Let's just date him. And then he's a disaster. And then he starts stalking you. So <laughs> I made a husband application and it's really simple. I bring them on stage, ask them three questions like, A, you know, do you, you know, do you cook? Right. Oh, um, cook for you. Yeah. yeah. Do you cook? Um, do you still live with your parents? That's a really big one. Is yeah. that a good or bad? It's horrible. Okay. I don't need you to live with your mom and tell them like, oh, my mom makes the best korma sabzi. It's like, <laughs> yeah. get out of here. Get out of here, Majid. Yeah. yeah. Um, Go pay Kayvon and come back. Yeah. And then the third thing is, hey, are you rich? That's all I need to know. Oh, are you rich? Oh, yeah. Oh. The women like that one. Yeah. What if they're rich but live with their parents? That's kind of, that's weird, but you know, that could be It could be their parents' money, you know? You don't know. So after the show as a male comedian, which is all I've ever been up until this point, <laughs> that could change next year, but uh, girls will kind of flirt in the autograph line, you know, they might stay a little longer, they might slip you a phone number. I've got that where I'm just shaking their hand and then, uh, oh, what is this? Oh. Uh, and, and then they'll slide into the DMs. Yeah. And, and I was wondering as a, 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 a female and a comedian when those two come together what is the move for guys to get your attention when they know you're single okay so the thing with uh being a, a comedian as a woman a lot of men are intimidated so after the show they they're very hesitant to hit, hit on me so what they do is they hit me up later so they huh. dm me um i will read you one that oh. i think is really yeah we um, a, oh we're hearing a dm keep DMs. the name private so we don't get sued all right i'll tell you the name private he's yeah. like you know, I really liked your show. Uh, you know, I'm looking for a woman uh, who has a lot of body hair. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> he yeah. just assumed body. that was you. He just you. assumed it, right? Wow. Um, especially on the arms. 
Let me see your arm. Show your arm to the camera. You know, I, you know, I was wearing that night. I was wearing a long sleeve shirt, but he was being like really imaginative. (laughs) You know, what's under that chador? Well, because because he saw my mustache and then he put two and two together. Okay. Okay. And then he goes, um, yeah, especially on the arms today, be friends with, hopefully get married to someday. Thank you. He put a thank you. I was like, oh my God, he's a gentleman. Uh, thank nice. you. We learned that's good etiquette. Yeah. So, <laughs> Any emojis in there? No. He was a gentleman, he's you know. Like he was a gentleman. <laughs> what emoji do you think he should have put after that? Um, <laughs> the prayer emoji. Please. That's the one. That's, that's a good one. one. Um, so I just wrote back like, hey, um, I am looking for a man who has a lot of money, especially in his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Not tied up in real estate yeah. deals or something. Uh, to date, to hopefully marry. No prenup. Thank you. Oh, that's um, good. And then I just attached a picture of like my hairy armpit. <laughs> Oh, you got your armpit in there. Yeah, just a hairy armpit. You had that on file or you had to go and work that out? No, it was just hairy. Okay. And then um, he didn't respond. So yeah. that's, that's kind of where my love I life said, is. I said, oh, I'm not off. armpit. This is disgusting. <laughs> I have standards. So my life is going great. That is awesome. So uh, the final thing I want to ask you, and if you can, we want you to stick around for one more segment because you're making everybody laugh and makes my job easier. Okay. Uh, first of all, how can people get a hold of you and see your tour dates or your TikTok? Oh, yeah. Um, please. That sounded dirty. I want to see your TikTok. See my TikTok, <laughs> guys. <laughs> that does sound dirty. Okay. If you go on my TikTok, it's just my name. So it's Melissa Shashahi. It's not Shashaki. It's not Shashani. <laughs> it's S H O S H A H I. And then my Instagram is Mel Shashahi. So um, I post a lot of videos so that's what i've been doing in the pandemic Yeah, your videos are going completely viral <laughs> and you do a, a character i am a natural girl I, I don't i don't know how you do it you know this is the girl she's very natural you know um, <laughs> she, she pretends to be natural she's, what's the secret she's really not natural she gets a lot of botox okay so all natural botox so natural you know she's about to go get bot implants but listen but she's she's looking also for a man. She's um, <laughs> she is working on her album, you know. <laughs> but right now she works at Nordstrom for discount. But for discount. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But she's unnatural. You do that 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 character great, and I think maybe your mom giving you advice or yelling at you or telling you, you should have yeah. done something. I have a lot of wigs. I've turned into Moira from Schitt's Creek. I have all these <laughs> wigs. Um, yeah, I have, I have a wig for my mom. I do an impression of my dad. I have a dad wig. I have a mustache. And he's just, like, not proud or happy of his life. Oh. Um, <laughs> and then I have, a, a like, a Karen character. Her name's Kirsten, but everybody calls her Kristen. Okay. And she's like, it's Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? I did a show in... in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Yeah. And all these beautiful blonde girls, and they all to me have the same name. And this group of girls, I go, What's your name? They're like, We do not have the same name. I'm Kristen, that's Kirsten, that's Crystal, and that's <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> and, and, and that's Kirsten. I go, there was two Kirsten. She's like, that's Kirsten with a K-Y. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's Kirsten, okay, right, with right. a C. That's right. Well, yeah. thank you for joining us. Thank You're sticking you. around for one more segment. We can't let her go. And one more time for Melissa Sosahi. We'll be right back. Today's life hack is something you can do with your friends and family if you're really bored, like we are today. So, it is called truth or myth. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll let Seppi take control. Hmm, All right, let's go. Let's just play. Yeah. I'll go first. You go first? Okay. Here I go with the first question. Split ends can be cured by shampoo or hair conditioner. Split ends? I would have learned this by one. Shampoo? Um, I'll say that is a myth. You have to just cut them off. <gasps> oh, you are absolutely right. right. Woo! Woo! How do you wow. know that? How That's you... my name, Kabal. Wow. Kabal. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got out of their question. Good. For sure. Yeah. I have a myth. Okay. I have to maintain um, a little credibility. Board. All right. Melissa's um, turn? Sh- yes. 
You should brush your teeth after every meal. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, the answer is no. No. Oh. Really? There, you there, brush your there. teeth twice a day. That's twice enough. a day. I just got scared because I was like, what if she's a <laughs> dentist? And she's like, you gotta brush it for these two seconds. <laughs> All right, I'm All right. sorry. Are you ready for your dare question? Fine. When was the last time you peed in bed? Ooh. <laughs> what day is it? Do people do that? <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, people do call me shush. <laughs> 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 to be honest, I don't even remember. I, 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 maybe when I had diapers on, which was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Probably when I was a like a kid. A yeah. kid. Yeah. Wow, you've had a long run. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Lucky. Thank you. Okay, you can talk to another skydiver during free fall. Mm. Free fall is what? When you like dive in? While you're flying you're through flying, the sky. You're flying, exactly. Falling you, from you Oh, why am I thinking like diver? Like falling scuba from diving. Yeah, mm -hmm. really good. Can you get yeah, that? Yeah, true. Because you have like the little microphone, maybe? Mm. Okay. That's the true. answer is no. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you can hear each other. Whoa. <laughs> I bet we're gonna have some people watching and be like, no, the new technology and the new earpiece. So technically, Just she could be this. right, yep. but I'd much rather Thank see you, you do a dare. <laughs> Go, dance in your chair, dance in your That's chair. That's how we're gonna end this segment, dancing in our chair. Yes. And we have a special gift for Melissa for taking the time out of her day. Oh, from Narin Art. You can find it online. Open it oh, here no while you're way. here. Too. You're gonna be glad you came. You guys are so dance sweet. Dancing your chairs, dancing your chairs. You want me chairs. to open it here? Open it, open yeah. it up. All right. These are handcrafted purses to match oh your vibe. Oh my God! Show the camera. This so is so, so adorable. Beautiful. You guys know I love gold. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. It's mine, okay. okay? Yes, thank you for joining it's us. beautiful. Thank our guests, our panel for playing. And we're going to dance our way out while the DJ digitally plays some music. <laughs> How do you do that? We get more cardio. <laughs> Our next guest is a Caribbean-American DJ, activist, and most importantly, a powerhouse on the violin. Please welcome Chrissy J. to do how do you hype oh you get to hug a violin beautiful when you're not a supermodel you do this on the side you know i double i double you Thank know you. and originally you're from i'm from miami 305 florida oh wow, miami mm -hmm. so uh my question is now that everyone's seen your performance they're going to know how do they get in touch with you well my instagram was it instagram twitter tumblr all well, everything that everybody has nowadays it's miss chrissy j Okay, Miss Chrissy J. Our goddess of violin, hashtag. Tell me goddess of the violin. <laughs> How long have you had this and what kind of violin is this? I've never seen anything like so it. So this is an electric. A mm -hmm. lot of people are used to acoustics like the Stradivarius and yes. all of that. But this is a Yamaha YEV 300, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've been playing for how long? I've been playing for a while. Piano is my first, and then I came into violin just because I like the vibrational and frequency oh, aspect of it. Beautiful. And healing people of Heal it. Heal me with it. So. Well, we have a surprise. Roll in the piano. Yeah. Oh, I'm kidding. We yes, yes, know. yes. No, I will hop on real quick. <laughs> we have to bring Chrissy back for that. Uh, my question is, this violin looks very expensive. Mm. Uh, is this worth more it than my car? Maybe, Probably. It, maybe, Toyota but um, Corolla, pre-owned. It's 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 rentable. It's rentable. rentable. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to hire you for rentable. some parties because <laughs> we did a little rehearsal, 
and Chrissy had no prep time. Just play any beat. And she just rocks with every single beat. So yes. it's built in at this point. Yes. I love rocking with the DJ. She's amazing. Thank <laughs> you. We have a gift for you. But since your hands are full, I will just show you. And this is from Narin Art. Oh Look at this beautiful handcrafted wow. purse. Yes. Yes. That is yes, so yes. beautiful. Thank you. Oh, and that is the gorgeous. great thing is since you can't have it now, Look at I, you get matching. To, I get to rock it. And yes. Yes. Work. Twirl, twirl, let me see. Oh, twirl. yes, yes. Teach Get me, it? teach me. Hey. Now, I have one favor to ask you. Yes. That was far too Anything. short. Can you rock us with one more song? Of course. Song? DJ, you got episode? it? Thank okay. you for watching this shop. I hope you like the way we look, and we'll see you next week. Yes. Hit it, Chrissy. Yes. Go!